Hi, I'm Matt. I'm Adrian. And we're here with Seth Fisher, Garrett Funnelly, Jesse Ozeri. Hey guys, so um, tell us a little bit about your film. Our film is called Blumenthal. It's a dark comedy. It takes place in New York, uh, centered around the death of a fictional playwright named Harold Blumenthal. It's awesome. So, okay. So, how and when did you get interested in filmmaking, and how long did it take? I've been interested in movies since I was in middle school, uh, watching movies. At first I was interested as an actor, and then I got into writing and directing, and that led to today. What about you, Garrett? Uh, pretty much the same thing, except I, uh, I had no interest in writing and directing and just wanted to produce, and that's what I've been doing. <laughs> I, uh, I started out doing stand-up comedy when I was your age. This actually feels very familiar to me. <laughs> and uh, after I was about 11 or 12, I realized, oh, maybe being behind the camera wouldn't be so bad. And that just turned into an obsession. And from there, just keep working and keep working. Now I'm making movies. So how long did this movie take you guys? <laughs> Two and a half years. <laughs> A year and a half. <laughs> feels it feels like feels like two and a half years. It's about a year and a half. <laughs> Four and a half. Yeah. Years. We we shot we shot for about three weeks. That felt like about three years. Middle school. Yeah, yeah. I was your age. No, but actually, you know, relatively speaking, it was very fast once you get the ball rolling. Uh, what's your favorite part of the process? Watching the movie. <laughs> Watching other people watch the movie. For any guys, you know, your age that are interested in making movies and how we made this, we actually have a blog about the whole filmmaking process from just coming up with the idea all the way to blogging about this festival. It's called Watch Me Make a Movie and it's at watchmemakeamovie.com and it's fun. It's got everything from behind the scenes videos of us making the movie uh, to me trying to figure out how to write the movie to um, him figuring out how to get the print from New York out to Santa Barbara. So. Definitely check it out. Yeah, we'll um, link to that on our Yeah, that'd be great. So, why make a film? Why not use any other means to get your ideas out? Because films are the best way to, to you know, make believe. I, you know, I started out in the theater, and, you know, there's only so much you can do to suspend disbelief. With a movie, it's all about tricks and... You can, you know, you write a story and you perfect it by shooting it and then you perfect it by editing it and you can watch it over and over and over again and it stands the test of time. Hopefully. I don't know how to do anything else. <laughs> what do you hope a viewer will get out of your film? What sort, like, what kind of larger voice will they get? I hope the viewer can laugh at the film and as a result laugh at themselves. Um, so the theme at our school is larger voices calling for this year. So what are largest, larger voices that guide you in your filmmaking in your life? The largest voice, I would say, is the voice in all of us in our head that comments on everything we do, that, says, that questions everything we do. Um, that part of you that, as you do something, says, I'm an idiot, which is, I remember correctly in middle school is a very big <laughs> voice in your head. Um, but that's what makes us awesome, and that's the kind of movies I want to make, are movies about that voice and our conflict with it. Any particular people that helped with that process? You mean like an inspiration or, <clears throat> um, you know, just, I guess everybody, as far as actual movies and people, I mean everything, I love all kinds of movies, but um, you know, everyday life is, the, is, is inspiration. I mean, there may be a movie with a scene like this someday, you know, 
there's there's comedy and drama everywhere. So. What about your guys' inspiration? I mean, I, I don't. <laughs> I don't have any particular inspiration. I don't think. I mean, I always, I, as a little kid, I always just like big, big movies, and I think eventually that's my end goal. But like, as far as this goes, this was this was the first feature that I produced, and I think as far as inspiration goes, it kind of all came from Seth, just timing wise. And <laughs> the larger voice was absolutely Seth. You know, I fell in love with this script the first time I read it, and. This was a movie I absolutely had to get made. I couldn't do anything else, so I had to be a part of it. All right, thank you guys so much for your time. Great job. Thanks. Seriously, you guys are pros. <laughs>